hey, it's the Terminian Hero here, and we're playing some more Yoshi's Story. We are headed into level 1-1, Treasure Hunt. Reveal lucky fruit that we will not be eating. It's watermelon. Okay, and we've got like six Yoshis to choose from here. Uh, we already played as green Yoshi in the practice stage. So let's try red Yoshi. And right away there's an apple that we don't want since we're going for all melons. I said before that I wasn't going to be using a guide to get all the melons, but forget that. I'm going to suffer if I don't go for, or like if I don't use a guide for this. Anyways, so we already have a ton of fruit to dodge. But there's our first melon. Yeah, so my history with Let's Playing Yoshi games hasn't really been great. Because, um, for Yoshi's Island, I, like, when I first tried to Let's Play that game, my copy of the game didn't work. And steal that melon, and he freaks out, that's pretty good. But yeah, my copy of the game didn't work, so I had to order a new one. Then for Yoshi's story here, my copy of the game didn't work either, but thankfully I was able to fix this one just by, you know, getting some rubbing alcohol and a Q-tip and cleaning the, the little metal tips inside. Anyways, pause. Press start to pause. You'll see Yoshi's mood and much more. Lucky and favorite fruit are shown along with any special hearts that you found. So yeah, our lucky fruit is watermelon because of the roulette. Our favorite fruit is apples because that's just what Red Yoshi's favorite fruit is. And Yoshi's mood is our score. Anyways, there's another melon we can grab from this guy. And let's not forget to sniff around. Because there's buried melons around here, along with like buried coins and stuff, but the coins don't matter so much. It's the melons we're after. Nap time? There are four Miss Warps on each course. Find them and wake them up. If other warps are awake, jump on one to warp to another. When a Yoshi is lost, you'll start from the highest numbered warp you have reached. Miss Warp. Wake up Miss Warp and her sisters to skip between them. So we woke up Miss Warp, but there's nothing we can really do with her now because we haven't woken up any of her sisters. Packy Derm. Packy won't let you buy unless you give something special a try. Would that be going into 3D? No, it just follows me. So let's ground pound. That helps you get by. Surprise ball. You can't eat it, but if you use your tongue, you'll be surprised. But this isn't surprise. Level 1-2 was called surprise. But yeah, you can use your tongue to grab stuff and platform like in Super Mario Galaxy 2. And we get a melon there, and because we got enough fruit, one of these hearts to make us super happy appears. So we'll try to get these coins, even though they don't really matter. Okay, those coins disappeared because we're no longer super happy. Anyways... There's another melon here. I know where these are because I looked up a guide. Otherwise, you know, good luck finding those. Unless you want to sniff everywhere, which would waste so much time. Melon race. Hit the question block and cross the starting line to begin the race. The faster you go, the more melons you'll win at the goal line. So this is scary, because you only have one chance for it. You want to hurry and get those melons, 
before that chain chomp up there eats him. Ow. I've taken some damage, but that's no big deal. My priority here is winning this race. And there we go, we get seven melons because we were fast enough. <laughs> But we passed a few melons on the way here. Why for Yoshi? So yeah, let's go back and get the melons we missed. And not that watermelon. So let's separate this melon from the others so that we don't accidentally eat the wrong fruit. And now there were two shy guys back here who were carrying melons. And now we should be good to go. Alright. So up here, we have the message block we've already read. Nap time, there are four Miss Warps on each course. Find them and wake them up. If other warps are awake, jump on one to warp to another. When a Yoshi is lost, you'll start from the highest numbered warp you have reached. It's the exact same message, but now I'll get to show it in action. These Miss Warps are both checkpoints and fast travel points. And since there's four in each level, that means we're gonna want to find them all just to satisfy us as a completionist. Yeah, Yoshi looked angry near that one shy guy. Anyways, that's Melon 19 here. The magic vase, hop on top and push down on the control stick. Here we go! So yeah, these vases are basically like pipes in normal Mario. And vases were used to tra uh, travel like this in Super Mario Bros. 2 as well, so... There's that nice little connection. And now, look who it is! Hello, Poochie. Poochie will gladly show you the way. He often stops to sniff a secret. Yeah, so let's free Poochie, just like the chain chomp in... Uh, Super Mario 64, and Poochie will sniff stuff out for us so we don't have to. I know it's here. Poochie wouldn't have stopped here if it wasn't here. Fine, let me sniff it since it's being picky. There we go. There's our melon. And there's another melon. And here's another melon. And what is this? It's our first big heart. Have a heart. Find the special hearts to open other courses on the next page. Three hearts are hidden in each course. Listen for ringing chimes when one is near. Pause your game to see how many hearts you found so far. And yeah, there's nothing hidden here, he was just pointing out the heart. But now you can see down there we've got one of the three big hearts. Those aren't normal melons, those are watermelons, I don't want those. White Shy Guy? The white shy guy follows you around. Does he want to be your friend? He might know a secret, but he won't reveal it until you get him out of here. Yeah, so there's no white shy guy here since we have max lives. But, like I mentioned on practice, you take a white shy guy to the end of the level, and it's basically an extra life. <laughs> Tons of melons. And now a platform so we can get another one of those big hearts. Eat five more fruit so the Yoshis can grow happier. 
Oh, I plan on it, and they're all gonna be melons. So here's Miss Warp number three. And now there's this. First of all, you get out of here. So that's a heart. So we're super happy again. But now this is the scary thing. You gotta get all those coins before they disappear to get a melon. And if the coins go off screen, then they just despawn. And you only get one chance at that, so that's a bit of a problem. Where did Poochie go? What way did Poochie go? Okay. There you are. Uh, I'm gonna hold off on this melon for a second. That was a melon, right? Oh no, that was a platform. So we could break this block and get our last big heart. So yeah, I'm gonna hold off on this melon for a second. Because here we got a melon to spawn just from coming to the end here. Eat just one more fruit so that the Yoshis can grow happier. Awesome, but here's our final Miss Warp. And Poochie just hangs out here now. And this vase, I want to show where this goes. It goes back to the start. So yeah, I want to go get our last melon now, so let's just get to the first Mist Warp as quickly as we can. I just wanted to show where the vase goes and like how the end of the level worked, how it just loops. So now let's warp to the end, one Miss Warp at a time. So, Poochie showed us that the last melon was like on this path here. So let's sniff it out ourselves this time. And there we go! And because we got all melons, it shows a melon instead of a heart. So there we go. All hearts, all melons on the first stage. And so, the adventure began. The Yoshis set out to find the super happy tree. Poochie the dog helped out. Not even elephants could stop the Yoshis. So far, so good. If they could stay happy, the tree would be saved. The page turned and the Yoshis grew happier. Well, this place doesn't look so happy, but anyways, uh, if we would have finished that first stage without collecting any big hearts, then only this first level would be available. But by collecting one heart, the second level became available. Two hearts, the, this third stage became available, and three hearts, all four stages are available now. But we're still just gonna stick to stage one in our first playthrough, just doing all the stage ones. So yeah, in the next video, we're gonna be going to Bone Dragon Pit. I'm the Terminian Hero, and I will see you then.